By the time you hear this, the midterm elections are probably over, but I'm recording this before the election and just pointing out that no matter what happens in the election, it has become abundantly clear to almost everyone that tribalism <laughs> is so extreme now in America that Democrats and Republicans probably cannot coexist. And from my point of view, being someone who has spoken out against what I see as the lunacy of the left. I'm someone who's always willing to coexist with people who have different views and different skin color, different religions, and so on. Uh, in fact, I've lived, you know, I've lived in Taiwan, I've lived in Ecuador. I, you know, I speak different languages. I've been around a lot of different people, and I've gotten along with many people from many cultures, so that's just the way I am. But what I see is, a, is an authoritarian left that cannot tolerate real diversity. They cannot have people around that, uh, with whom they disagree. They want to absolutely destroy, if not murder, and of course silence all of their political opponents, where I think most conservatives are actually, they're, they're okay with coexisting with Democrats, but Democrats are not, are not okay with coexisting with conservatives. So where does that leave us? In my view, no matter what happens in the election, America is in the process of ripping itself apart from the inside, and it's all by design. This is the impact, the deliberate plan of China and George Soros and other globalists who want to tear America apart. You've got to remember this. They want a civil war. They want civil unrest. They want martial law. They want to see America implode because that makes America weak and ripe for invasion. And if they can split apart America, then America is less of a threat to the globalists. For example, if they could get California to secede and become its own nation state, then California could join the United Nations. And so essentially the globalists would have California in their back pocket and on what is currently U.S. soil, no less, and they could start building ports and military bases and missile silos and things in California that they could use to threaten the United States of America. You see, this is why it's so important that America stand together against globalism. Because once the globalists have a foothold in the continent, well, the, the, the continental part of the United States, then it's, it's really like a, you know, it's... it's it's a way for them to stage an invasion, a land invasion at that point. They could stage, I mean, it's a beachhead, right? It's just like D-Day, but on a larger scale. They could stage a massive invasion force in California. Those could be Chinese soldiers, communist Chinese. They'd get along great with the California government, although I think the California patriots would start taking them out. <laughs> By the way, there are a lot of California patriots in rural California, northern California, and so on. They wouldn't put up with it. But the California bureaucrats and the governor, he's a traitor. He's, he's an anti-American. He's a communist, you know. I'm talking about Brown, of course. Moonbeam. He'd get along great with the communists. So never forget that that can happen. That could be part of the plan. Tear the country apart, establish a beachhead, set up a land invasion, or threaten the rest of America with nuclear missile silos that are built in California with the help of the communist Chinese. Of course, the communist Chinese are already running the California tech companies, such as Apple, Google, YouTube, Twitter. They're, they're basically run by the Chinese at this point. I mean, Google is building the Chinese police state search engine, you know, total surveillance authoritarian system. I mean, Google's own employees are, are fleeing the company and protesting Google en masse. That's how evil Google is. That Even Google's own employees are like, ah, you're too evil for us, and they're liberals. <laughs> it's like Google is so evil that they're just too evil e even for the evil people. So make no mistake, you've got really the globalists, communist China, and the tech giants are all working together, plus, of course, the left-wing media, to try to destroy America. So the question is, can we, the patriots of America, can we survive this onslaught? Can we survive? Can we defend America? And can we keep America, America? Will we have a border left when this is all said and done? Because not just the caravan and the migrants and all that, it's, it's about an invasion 
of foreign troops. It's about an actual land invasion. And for all we know, they could do a deal with Mexico. The globalists could, and they could stage an attack on America through Mexico. And they could say uh, they're, they're freeing the, the, the political prisoners or whatever. They could just make up some excuse, you know. And with that excuse, they could just, you know, come after America with a land army invasion. They could try anything. So watch out for all this. These are very dangerous times. And it's, it's a time that you can be sure the globalists are going to extract a very high price from the American people if Americans continue to go down the path of national sovereignty, that is loving their own country, and defending America's borders because the globalists do not want America to exist as a standalone free nation. They absolutely do not want that. And they're doing everything in their power to try to defeat America, destroy it, and especially destroy it from within. So, by the way, in order for America to defend itself, at some point, Trump is going to have to have an attorney general in place who will issue mass indictments and mass arrests of the deep state traitors who have conspired to bring down America. America cannot survive if people like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama stay out of prison. It's that simple. You got to arrest them. You got to charge them with the treason that they've committed. The corruption, the fraud, the illegal spying, the violation of civil rights, the obstruction of justice, all of that, destroying evidence, illegal leaks, you know, financial crimes, a multitude of financial crimes carried out by Obama. Obama and Clinton need to be put in prison. And that's, that's just a start. That's how you start this. That's how you begin to defend your nation. You throw the criminals in jail. And you say no to the globalists, you deploy the military on your border, and basically you tell all your nuclear submarine commanders to fire nukes at any country that stages a land invasion of America. If China comes in and, and starts to invade California, yeah, I hate to say it, but you nuke Beijing. That's what you do. And you make sure they know it in advance so you don't have to. That's the whole point of having nuclear submarine commanders so that you can threaten your evil enemies with total destruction if they pull some kind of insane invasion of your territory. And if they know that, they might be rational enough to not take that step. But you got to be serious about that threat. You have to be able to do it. And you have to be willing to do it. If you're not willing to do it and they figure that out, then they'll know you're bluffing and they'll go ahead and invade your country and try to overthrow you anyway. Trust me on this point. Mutually assured destruction is actually a very important strategy for the safety and security of our nation. That's what kept us alive in the Cold War. The fact that the Russians knew that we could nuke them if they tried anything against us. It saved our lives. I know liberals like to make fun of MAD. Yeah, it sounds mad. It's not mad. It's called counterbalance. It's the two scorpions in a jar dilemma. No one wants to attack the other if they know that they themselves are going to be destroyed in a reciprocating attack. That's what keeps the peace. If you don't realize that, then you're not living in the real world. There are enemies in our world, enemies like communist China, and there are enemies in America, like Barack Obama. It's time to defeat them all. It's time to throw them in prison, the ones we can get our hands on here in America. And it's time to tell our foreign enemies that if they mess with us, they will be destroyed. And Trump is exactly the right person to send that message. And I think that that's exactly what he's doing. And that's why things are getting better for America. If you don't love America, get out. If you do love America, hunker down and get ready because the battle has just begun. Read more at my website, newstarget.com, or check out trump.news. Thanks for listening. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.